hello everyone welcome to question coder so in this video we will see the question 1400 that is construct k palindromic strings so this is not a light question on the lead code but it can be asked in interview for a basic uh, string question so it is a medium level question you can see and let's see the problem statement then i will explain you how we can solve this question using efficient approach so let's see given a string as n and integer k you should construct k non-empty palindromic palindrome strings using all the characters in s so we are given an input as a string that we have to use to construct k palindromic string so k is an integer so we will be given like three uh, k is three any is this example you can see k is two so we have to use the uh, characters in this string that is that we are given input string and we have to check if there are a k possible palindromic strings that we can make using the characters of the s or not if it is possible we will return true you can see return true if you can use all the characters in s to construct k palindromic strings or simply return false if it is not possible in this example you can see the example we given the string is annabella and the k is 2 so k is 2 that means we have to construct two palindromic strings using all the characters of s so here our answer is true so it is possible actually you can see anna and you can use these so you can see there are three possible palindromic strings that we can uh, make uh, actually three possible combinations of two palindromic strings that we can make using the characters of s now here you can see the input string is lead code so we have to make three palindromic strings so the output is false actually we are not able to make three palindromic strings using all the characters of s so we will turn false so in this example true so input is true so you can see we have to construct four palindromic strings and here the characters are all, all, also four and we have to construct k palindromic strings so we can simply uh, put each character in a single string so it will be t r u e each single character is always a palindrome if you don't know palindrome is actually a string which is same from the starting and ending if you cut it from the the in between uh, actually the midpoint it will be similar from the starting and the ending you can see here a is equal to the n uh, this ending a and then n is equal to the second uh, last n so here you can see the constraints down here so constraints are actually one uh, the length of the string will vary from one to 10 to the power 5 and all the characters are lowercase so that means a b c d in lowercase so the sky value for them are actually if you know 97 to uh, somewhat in between 100 so here you can see so k k varies from 1 to 10 to the power 5 so if you see the constraints carefully we have we can be given a string that is less than the size of k the the number of strings that we have const to construct so this will be actually a base case you need to always check the constraints before approaching the question so uh, interview will also expect you to understand this first of all so you can see the string the size will vary from 1 raised to power 10 uh, 1 to 10 raised to power 5 but if your string length is less than k so k can be actually 10 raised to power 5 and your string length can be, can be 1 so if you don't have enough characters only how you can make k possible string so you will simply turn false in that case so let's see the example actually i will explain with the example then the approach let's see so you can see in this string that we're given annabella so here if you see we don't have to maintain the particular order of the characters we can use the characters anyhow to make the palindrome so it is not like a occurs before and so it will always occur before n only in any string so it is not like that you have been given this string so you can use its all the characters you will have to use actually all the characters at any direction any position actually so you can see the, there are three possible combinations actually one string first string can be a double n a you can see this is a palindrome it is equal from the starting and the ending if you cut it from in between you can see so it is actually an even length palindrome so here you can see and this palindrome is always equal you can see e and uh, this last e is same and then l then l is same and b is as, as i told you uh, always a single character is always a palindrome so here you can see b is always a palindrome this is actually a odd length palindrome so you can see there are three possible combinations so this is how we need to make or we need to return true so if you know that uh, there is a, a possible string so we will simply return true we don't have to actually build this so let's see how we can uh, approach this question actually so as i told you there are two possible types of palindrome first is the odd length first is the odd length you can see this is the even length and then the odd length so as i told you the even length will have you can see this is the even length actually so if you see carefully even length has all the characters occurring even number of times so there is not a single character which occurs you can see uh, let me copy it here so you can see this is the even length string actually here if you see all the characters are occurring even number of times so a occurs actually you can see four number of time you can see one two three four and b occurs two number of time and c also occurs two number of time that is why you can see if you add them so this is a even length string or palindrome you can say so this is a even length palindrome so you have to observe actually two things so as i told you we don't have to maintain any order for the particular string so that means we need to use the characters so we need, uh, need to like approach something like we if we know the number of characters the occurring characters so we need to find like that if answer is true or false so let's see now so as i told you there are two types of uh, palindromes first is the even length as I told you, all the characters in this even length palindrome will be occurring even number of times. So, 
the next will be odd length so in odd length all the characters will be occurring even number of time but as i told you the length is odd so the one character will be there which will be occurring only odd number of time and it will be always occurring in between at the middle point here you can see the string here you can see this is of length 1 2 3 4 and 5 6 7 8 9 so this is an uh, length 9 so let me copy it here so if you see this is length 9 string so if you see carefully all the characters are occurring even number of uh, even number of time a occurs four times you can see and b occurs also four times but there is one character which is occurring odd number of time and it is always in between at the midpoint if you see carefully c is occurring only one uh, one time so it is at the midpoint so in odd length string in this example also you can see this string is even length so all the characters you can see are occurring even number of time but in this string e l b l e e so you can see this is odd length string you can see the length of this string is five actually so there will be four characters which will be occurring even uh, actually two characters which will be occurring even number of times that means four times and uh, actually are occurring even number of time and you can see and one character b is only occurring one number of time so that means it is a all length string uh palindrome so it is possible so now if you see we are you, we know that there is two types of uh, palindromes so now if you see carefully as i told you we don't have to maintain any order of the particular characters so we can simply count the number of characters that are occurring so as i told you we don't have to build actually the palindromes so if we count the uh, characters so here you can see this is the string that we are given okay annabella so here if you count the characters so a occurs actually two, no, two times okay then n occurs you can see two times and then p occurs only one time and e occurs two times and l occurs two times so here if you see carefully there are okay all the characters are occurring even number of time but only but only one character is occurring one number of time that is one time or odd number of times so if you see a is two and is two so that means if a is two is given so we can simply construct a string, uh, palindrome which uh, which will be palindrome actually if you write a a so it is already a palindrome if you have n and also if you uh, take n n okay so it can be simply you can write a a then n n then a so it would be also a palindrome or you can simply write n n so these are all palindromes if you have this okay this so we can simply uh, we and we are given k is equal to two so that means we have to construct two possible string uh, palindromes uh, from using these characters so we have to turn two or false so how we can check using the count of the Characters. so first we have the count of the characters from the string so now you know that uh, all the characters which are occurring even number of times can be made simply a palindrome if you, you see e is given so we can simply we can use a e we can write e here a here uh, here then a here then e here so this will always a palindrome and then we have to make another string so which can be simply you can make like b okay uh sorry not b so actually you can see l then you can write l then you can write a then you can write a here and there will be one position left so b is occurring odd number, odd number of time so it will always occur in between only so that is why the answer is true you can see you can make e a a sorry you, you we have used a two times actually so it will be n here so you can write e n n e then you can write e b a b a e so here if you see carefully the thing that is the deciding our uh, uh, question actually if our answer is possible or not is actually the odd number of characters actually the characters which are occurring odd number of time if a character is occurring even number of time we can simply construct it as a palindrome so we can simply construct it as a palindrome but if the characters here you can see b was occurring one number of time and k is two that means we have to construct two things so we can add b it in any of this any of this actually so one will be even and string then and other will be odd uh, length string if we add b here so now if we have more character like we have c which is occurring also one number of time so and we have k is equal to two so now we can add c as this can be formed as a palindrome the e uh, even length string so we can simply add this c into this string so it will be also a palindrome actually if we add it in between because we should only have one every uh, every odd number or length string palindrome is should actually only have one character which should be occurring in between so if we have k is equal to 2 so that means we can construct only two possible palindromes we have to construct only two possible palindromes so that means if we are given only one character which is occurring odd number of time we can add it in one string any of one string if we are given two uh, odd number uh, two odd occurring characters we can add uh, both characters into different strings we ha should have uh, both characters into different strings because only odd palindrome pal pal can have odd uh, occurring character so we can add them if k is 2 but odd number of odd occurring characters is increases that means here if you see d also occurs one time so that means you have d also as one so if you add okay we we make anything okay let's
actually if you see carefully in this thing that we are given okay so the thing that is determining if our answer is possible or not if it is true or false is actually the number of string uh, actually occurring odd number of times if the strings that are occurring odd number of time is greater than k so our answer will be actually always false if you see carefully if k is 2 and our strings that are occurring odd number of time here you can see b is occurring odd number of time and c is occurring odd number of time is 2 actually and k is also 2 so that means we can put these two uh, odd occurring strings in between these two strings that we are having okay we can make two strings if we increase our odd number uh, occurring characters that means d also occurs and it occurs one time so that means it is occurring odd number of time but we have only two strings two possible strings so if you uh, add all the even okay in these strings and you add in between you add two odd characters uh, odd characters that are occurring odd number of times will be in c but you also have left a d so d is left which is occurring odd number of time you cannot add it any of the string because if you add d here it will not have any character which is a same or actually similar to the d so you can see if we add try to add d here so it will become evil and string but here c is there in between so if you add d uh, on this c is not equal to d so that means this will not be a palindrome so that means that if a string has odd uh, odd occurring characters greater than k the count of odd numbering uh, occurring characters in this string you can see odd occurring character is one and we have to make only one string so that means it is possible in this you can see odd occurring character is one and we have two strings that uh, that we have to make so that means we can add this odd numbering uh, occurring character into any of the strings if we have uh, 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 like c here so then also we can form because we have two strings that are possible so we can add c here and b here but if we have a more character that is occurring only one number of time or odd number of time actually we cannot form a string or palindrome uh, k palindromes actually because we won't be able to add two odd number occurring characters into a particular string a single string single string should only have one character which is occurring odd number of time so there can be no two possible characters which are occurring odd number of time so that means that our answer always depends on the uh, characters which are occurring odd number of times so let's see the algorithm then i will uh, show you the drive -in. you can see this is the algorithm so first of all as i told you we will have to count the characters all the uh, occurring characters how many times they are occurring so we will simply use a map or you can simply use a count array so simply you can create a count array of size 26 and you can map all the characters first of all you will iterate over the string and you uh, then uh, this for the particular character to map it to the zeroth index because you know that a is the starting index so you can simply subtract the sky value of a small a actually so you can see it will be like this so it is actually 97 a sky value of a so here the character is a so 97 minus 97 will be 0 so it will be mapped here so for b it will be 98 actually for b it will be 98 so if you uh, subtract uh, a sky value of a that will be 98 minus 97 so b will be mapped here so that is why we will be using uh, this uh, this technique actually you can see count array and all the characters minus a uh, sky value of a so you will simply map that and for every character you if it is occurring so you will simply increment that particular index value so it will become uh, like uh, this map actually the count uh, map so we will have all the characters uh, map of the, all the characters occurring characters actually here you can see a occurs two number of times and n occurs actually two numbers of time and b occurs uh, one time and e occurs two times and l also occurs two times so this will be the map that will be having this is l actually uh, l and this is e so this is the map that will be having after this step after uh, traversing the string now what we have to do is we have as i told you we don't have to check for the even occurring characters so we have to find the characters which are occurring odd number of times because if the characters that are occurring odd number of time is greater than k so that means we will not be able to construct the k possible palindromes because we don't have enough strings only to put the odd number occurring characters so here we will make a count variables you can see we have initialized a variable c so we will traverse over this map or we will traverse over this array and we will check for this value that is count so if this count value you can see is a odd value so we will check here you can see count i so count i is this so actually i have represented here like a map but in the code i will show you as a uh, array so you can simply traverse over this array and you will check for every value in the array if to, uh, array so as you know you can simply check if it is odd or even by uh, taking the modulus of two if it is one that means it is odd if it is zero so it is even so if it is odd then we will increment our count that means the odd number correcting so you can see here for this array the the value of c will be actually one only because there is only one character which is, which is occurring odd number of time that is b so it will be one so now at last when we have traversed over a whole array we will check if c is less than equal to k so k is 2 here so you know that k is 2 here so c is less than equal to k that means it is 2 so as i told you we have we have to form two possible uh, poly palindromic strings and we have only one odd occurring character so we can add it in any of the strings so the answer will be true so for example the example that we given here let me uh, copy from here so you can see we are given 
lead code so i will copy it here so let me write it here actually so you can see we have been given lead code so if you see here lead code occurs you can see l occurs in this thing l occurs one number of time and e occurs actually you can see two numbers of uh, three numbers of time and t occurs one number of time and c also occurs one number of time actually if you see and o occurs one number of time and d also occurs one number of time so if you run a loop for this array actually if you run this program for this array so if you see carefully all the characters or almost all the characters are occurring odd number of times so that means we have to earn the k values actually three you can see so that means we have only three possible strings that we can form and all the characters are occurring odd number of time if you try to make the string of this so it will be not simply not possible because you can see count will be one two three four five and six count will be six which is greater than k actually which this condition is not true so that means we will simply turn false so let's see the code so let's see the code i will also share the code in the description you can check it from there so you can see simply first of all as i told you we will check for the base case if the size of the string is uh, already less than the k so that means the answer will be not possible we cannot form k possible string if the size or we if we don't have enough characters only so we will simply turn false then i have initialized a count array actually you can see it has been initialized with zero all the indexes are initialized with zero then we will run it or iterate over the string then we will uh, count the occurrences of the characters actually you can see uh, this is a particular character in the string and we are subtracting the sky value of a from the string and mapping it to the indexes and then we will simply increment it and this is a variable that we will be using actually it will be keeping the count of you can see uh, odd occurring characters actually not out it, it should be odd occurring characters actually then we will iterate over the array whole array that we have created or the map array for the characters and we will check if a particular character is occurring odd number of times so the you can see the, if odd value is there and we take modulus 2 so it will be always return 1 so we will simply add 1 to it okay it will 1, uh, 1 will be added that means odd occurring uh, character will be incremented and then at last we will check if the k value that we are given is greater than or equal to odd occurring characters that means the answer is possible if it is less than odd occurring characters then the answer is not possible so simply we will return false so you can see this will be return true this will return true if this condition is true otherwise it will return false so let's submit the solution and i will also provide the code in the description so you can check it from there so i hope you got the solution and the time complexity as i told you for the solution will be only o of n because you are only traversing this array or uh, the string and then array so the time complexity will be there and for the map actually so space complexity will be used so it will be o of n only because you are uh, like making the map of uh, size 26 if you don't like if you know that you have to create this map so if you don't compare it so it will be actually o of n but actually it will be o of n only so Thank you for watching guys. I hope you like this video. Thank you for watching. Do subscribe to this channel and like this video.